right back at it with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters. MMA Quick Kids 2. Hey, Oscar G in the comments. I'm going to say that one time just for you. All right, back at it with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters. MMA Quick Kids 2. Fuck Oscar G. Now let's get into this Q&A. Oscar G's been commenting on every motherfucking video. Trolling, hating, and guess what, Oscar? I'm not blocking you. Guess what I'm doing? I'm clipping your shit up. Read them comments. And while you're at it, watch a fucking ad, you fucking bum. Go back to Patreon with that shit. Keep talking, homie. Keep fucking talking. Bring some more patrons over here. Bring them in the comments. They can get an introduction just like you, Oscar G. Now eat a fucking dick. Troll hitter on deck. To this Q&A... To the real hitters, the free hitters, the motherfucking day one hitters, the motherfucking top shelf hitters, the motherfucking lurker hitters, the troll hitters like Oscar's fucking G. You fucking bum. You say you're not a fucking bum. Throw me a donation then you rich, rich, you fucking rich. You in here talking down on everybody that's broke. Well, the motherfucking PayPal link is in the don in the description, nigga. Throw me a fucking donation, Richie Rich. Until then, you're a fucking bum. Stay in the comments. I ain't gonna block you. I'm gonna keep clipping your shit up. And the trolls are probably gonna get you after this video, Oscar G. Now, to the motherfucking Q&A, the real hitters. Fucking, let's get to reading this shit. <coughs> motherfucking hitter call number one with Veli G on deck now. I think we're gonna do one hitter call a week. So if you're interested in a hitter call, just shoot me a fucking email and we can get it down. You ain't gotta throw me a donation or nothing for that shit. Oscar, I don't need fun. I'm not begging for cash. This shit is fun. I do this shit for free. I talk. I talk about any fights. I talk about fantasy fights. If someone wants to see it, I'll fucking put it out there. Oscar, I'm not gonna call you a fucking bum. I'm not gonna tell you you need a fucking raise. I'm not gonna fucking tell you I wipe my ass with twenty bucks because I fucking don't. Nigga, I was broke when I started the channel. I'm broke now, bitch. And if I fucking am broke next month. It'll still be fuck Oscar G, you pussy ass bum. And like I said, you're broke until you throw me a donation. Link in the description, Oscar G. Prove you ain't fucking broke. To these fucking comments, fuck Oscar G. I'm talking that shit. Now, to the real fucking hitters. Let's get it. Alright, oh, I just I just scrolled down. So while I'm scrolling back up, I'm gonna say fuck Oscar G one more time. Alright, scrolling back up. Joe Martin. We're going to start with you, buddy. Joke 53 seconds ago. It's 2.02 in the morning for me right now. Let's get to the fucking Q&A, baby. Oh, okay. No, Joe Martin was talking about... He was he was on the hitter call. Okay, okay, okay. I'm fucking up. Okay. Okay, well, I got to fucking go to my, just the fucking hitter call Q&A. So while I'm motherfucking scrolling over to this, guess what I'm going to say? Fuck Oscar G, you fucking bum. You fucking troll. Stay in the fucking con. If I'm a fucking bum because I ain't got money, you're a fucking bum because you're getting your shit clipped up. Now, think I give a fuck, homie. I got a fucking job, nigga. I got paydays coming up, baby boy. And guess what? On payday, I'm fucking buying a new mic. I'm buying a fucking different computer. And I'm motherfucking upgrading the quality for you fucking trolls. Now, to the fucking comments. Fuck Oscar G one last time. Now. How do I become a hitter? Nathan Gunn said. How do you become a hitter? Nathan Gunn, you are a hitter. How do you become a hitter? That question. First question. Hey, you are a hitter. You view the channel, you're a hitter. If you just watch the channel, you're a hitter. If you, Now, th there's a separate thing called day one hitters. I made a fucking list of 100 people, and the first 100 people that I felt like really supported the channel and really showed love, I wrote their name down. I just finished that list before this video. I'm going to shout out the first 100 day one hitters right after this video. But Nathan Gunn, since this is still fucking day one, bro, I'm, I'm in this for six days. Guess what? If anybody else wants to be a day one hitter and get put on the list, what's a day one hitter, you might ask? I'll, th there's a question. A day one hitter? That means right now we have 500 subs. If we ever get 20,000 subs, if we ever get... 10,000 subs and it gets to be where my inbox is getting filled up spam so I can't fucking read every single email and I can only if I get to a point to where I'm taking donations for requests guess what if you're on this list 
If you're on the fucking day one hitter list, you never have to donate a dollar unless you're supporting the channel, but you don't have to for a request. If I got 20,000 subs, send me a message that says, hey, I'm, I'm a day one hitter. You can check the list. And can you please do this for me? I've been here since day one. And I'm going to say, fuck yeah, day one hitter on deck. So Nathan Gunn, to answer that question, you are a hitter. Just type in the fucking comments if you want to, in, in the con next comments or any comments, because I read the comments. Just type in the comments if you want to be a day one hitter. So if you're hearing this, if you want to be a day one hitter, just type it in the comments, and I'm going to put you on the list. We're at 100 right now. I'll give it to 150. But I tell you what, we'll, we'll cut that shit off at like seven days. We're at six days right now. So after seven days, we'll cut off the day one hitters. You were here in the first week. You like the channel. You support the channel. You're a day one hitter. All right, next question. Shiva V. She said, shit, I've always, I've, I've been away for a few days and the subs blew up. Clap emoji. Much respect. Thank you. Crazy Horse Bennett. Thoughts on Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Ooh, I love Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Fucking love that guy. I fucking love Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. I'll admit I haven't seen all of his fights, but the last shit that he did that was super entertaining made me watch his live streams, made me watch his shit, look up a little bit about him. I don't care if he's not the best fighter in the world. He's one of my favorite fighters. He should have been on my favorite fighter list. Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Let's get it. He's that dude. I think he might have changed his name, uh, Slacker said. I think he might be right. Forgot what it is. All right, we got Vanny's boy, Z-Boy. Thoughts on Cyborg punching An Angela Mangana for trolling her? I'll probably do a video on this, but I'll answer it right here. And I really don't know who Angela, Angela Mangana is, and she, you said she trolled her. I haven't seen it yet because I've been busy with the hitter call. I fucking walked my dog. I was fucking... Uh, responding to this fucking fake punk pussy ass troll I already forgot his name like Chuck G, Chuck G or something and uh, so yeah I haven't read the article yet I did see it I want to read it but my thoughts on Cyborg punching somebody Cyborg's got a woman on deck fattest female fighter in the planet woman on deck that's my thoughts on that Idra Du said hit her on deck day one hit her on deck let's get it Nathan Gunn said who will Connor fight next in the UFC and win who will Nate fight in the UFC and win? Fuck trolls. Fuck QH1. Respect QH2. Hey, you fucking hear that? Fucking Chuck G or whatever your fucking name was. I didn't say fuck QH1. He did. But I will say fuck you. Now, say something back in the comments. I like responding to that shit. Let's get the comment count up, you fucking bum. Welcome to the community. Troll on deck. Nathan Gunn. Who will Connor fight next in the UFC? In the UFC, it's for sure going to be Tony Ferguson or Nate Diaz. I think if it was up to Connor, if it was up to the UFC, it would be Nate Diaz. How are they going to get around the fact that Tony Ferguson's the number one contender? I don't know. So, my my guess, somehow Nate Diaz. Whether it's because Connor's taking a little bit off and Nate Diaz is taking a year off, so Tony Ferguson's got to take a fight, and then it's like, oh, okay, all of a sudden we're coming back, we're going to schedule this. So, I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it, but I think they want it to be Nate Diaz. Uh, when is Nate Diaz's next fight? I, the only fight I see him doing is the last Conor McGregor fight, and then I see him probably retiring. No reason to fight anyone else. You're not going to even make a quarter of the uh, fucking ten tenth of the money. Fucking, you're just in there for what? Not to win the belt. I don't think Nate Diaz will ever win the belt. Honestly, I believe Nate Diaz is a little bit overrated. Not Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz. I'll do a video on that if somebody asks. Okay. De uno hit it wrong deck. Fuck so, fuck so. De uno. Que paso, amigo? Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Congrats, brother, from Studley2471. Congrats to you, sir. We are all part of this. Thank you. Left hook, Larry. John Jones versus Double Cheeseburger 2. Who you got? Aldo versus. Sorry, I went away from the mic. Aldo or Holloway? Cub Swanson versus Aldo 2. Plus Chris Cyborg versus Shair Rodriguez. Okay, so you're asking me in all of those fights. Okay, let's get it. John Jones versus Double Cheeseburger 2. I'm picking Daniel Cormier just because that fucking would make such a great storyline. They are both the first guys to beat each other. The first guy, if, if Daniel Cormier wins, both of them. Dan, John Jones was the only one to ever beat DC. DC's the only one to ever really beat John Jones. Sets up a huge trilogy fight. So I'm rooting for Daniel Cormier to win because that would be epic. I think John Jones is actually the overall better fighter. But if Daniel Cormier can come out and and for some reason make it look like John Jones was only good on the juice, that would be huge. That would be huge. Who do I got, Aldo or Holloway? I fucking, dude, I'm going with fucking War Holloway, Max Holloway, my fucking, one of my favorite fighters. I don't care. 
Although, yes, is probably going to win. But he, I'm picking Holloway with my heart, not my head. I don't care. Fucking, that's my fucking dog. I want to see him win. I want to see him be a champion. I want to see, that's one of my favorite fighters. I always refer to the Max Holloway versus Ricardo Lamas round three, last minute of the fight. He was, or la, la, round five. Max Holloway was winning every single round. Fucking pointed at the ground. Gave Ricardo Lamas the opportunity to save himself, to fucking put him away. Holloway still won the exchange. So, yeah. Look up the Ricardo Lamas versus Holloway end of the fight. That's why he's one of my favorite fighters. Holloway, man on deck, favorite fighter. Cub Swanson versus Aldo, too. I got Aldo, for show. Uh, Chris Cyborg versus Yair Rodriguez. Hey, fantasy fights on deck. Fantasy fights on deck. Hey, I should do a fucking fantasy fight on that. <laughs> Some guys, I feel bad because they actually like the channel, but they were like, hey, man, you just went too far with these. Well, bitch, don't watch them. Who do I got out of Cyborg versus Yair? I got motherfucking cyborg. I'm going with cyborg. Not even close. Maul the guy in the first round. Fucking pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. All right. Oscar G said, "I'm gonna get your bitch ass." F I I'm gonna read it out loud. I'm gonna read it. For I'm gonna read it how he said it. I'm gonna get your bitch ass flagged. You fucking poser. Like that. Is that how you said it, Oscar? Hey, I said, I'm gonna get your bitch ass flagged. You fucking poser. Hey, fuck you, Oscar. What did I say to you in the comments? I'm going to open these up because I think I've already clipped your shit up. I said, flag these nuts. Troll hitter on deck. You said, the nuts in your fucking mouth. The original quick hits nuts in your fucking mouth. I said, and new, motherfucker. And new. I said, it sounds like you already got his nuts in your mouth. You're in here fighting his battles. I ain't did nothing but respect him so far. But make sure while you're in here, don't hit skip on the ad. Troll hitter on deck. Fuck Oscar G. Yeah, push fuck you think you're gonna do come in here and discourage me fuck you i'll clip your shit up in the comments <laughs> you said you sound fucking stupid bro go suck a dick you ain't shit bro you fucking pathetic ass fool you never would be as good as quick hits you the only real hitter oh he's the only real hitter what's that make his platinum hitters you fucking dope are they not real hitters you're probably fucking right because they're paying him twenty dollars a month they're being loyal to a man that just proved he was unloyal they're being loyal to an unloyal man. They're being loyal to a man who says, I pledge my allegiance to no man. Guess what you're doing? You're pledging your allegiance to him. So you might want to fucking think before you come in here, Oscar. And like you said, you're rich. what I say? Link's in the description, buddy. Come back on the next video. I'll see ya. It sounds like you're watching my videos. Thanks for the view, you puss. Watch the ads. Barry Walters said... Thoughts on Michael Bisping ducking Yoel. I think I love Michael Bisping. I love how he talks shit, but I think he's dodging Yoel. And I think that's just what it is. I think he doesn't want to fight Yoel. I think he's dodging Yoel. I think Michael Bisping does have a man on deck. He doesn't dodge people. He's not known for dodging people. He That's not his MO. But I think at this point in his career, with what's on the line, he doesn't want to fight Yoel. What chains lose their belt by 2018? It's May right now, so in the next seven months, who loses the belt? Jermaine Durandam means going to get her shit either stripped or motherfucking something. Her shit's going to be gone. So let me go down the list. Stipe, nope, he won't lose his belt. Uh, light heavyweight, Daniel Cormier, nope, he won't lose his belt because he's going to beat John Jones. You heard it here first. Uh, next, 185, Michael Bisping, that shit's going to be gone. Unless he doesn't fight anybody, belt's gonna be gone. Uh, 170, Tyron Woodley's gonna have the belt for a long time. Okay, 155, the champion, Conor McGregor. Uh, I think he'll have the belt unless he gets stripped for fucking inactivity. 145, Aldo. I'm going with Holloway, but. So I, I'll say Aldo will have his belt gone. 135, we got Cody Garbrandt. Nope, because he's fucking got a back injury. He probably won't even fight by then. Oh, you said by mid-2018, so maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If Cody fights TJ, I'll say he'll lose it, but if not, i say he won't. Uh, you said, okay, wait, I'm missing. Okay, Demetrius Johnson, definitely not. Let's go to the women. 135, Amanda Nunes, I do not think she'll lose her belt. Joanna, I do not think she'll lose her belt. Uh, you said... Robert Whitaker versus Joel Romero. Who do I got? Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting. Three round fight. I'll give it to Joel. Five round fight. 
I'll give it to Whitaker. You said we're doing versus Miocic too. Who do I got? Hey man, that's a good question. That's a very good question. I'll give it to Werdum. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll give it to Werdum. I think he'll come in there serious. I don't think he'll come in there with the smiley face, even though I like it. Um, I think he will. It will, and I think I would root for that because who wouldn't want to see the trilogy? All right, your thoughts on UFC fighters speaking against Reebok? at fighters retreat Ooh, i haven't seen that yet man thanks for fucking breaking the news to me i'm looking forward to all the news i've been missing while i've been doing this work sorry about missing the news sorry i can't break the news that fast uh my thought but if they're speaking out against reebok i'm fucking happy for them i'm proud of them i think they should be i'll say this i'm down with the reebok deal if you guys are down with the union how about that ufc i'll be with the i'll be with the reebok deal if you guys are with a union so I don't like the Reebok deal I don't like a lot of things that happen with the fighters I don't like that they don't get money off the video games I heard they don't get money off the Fox deal there's a lot of money that the you there's a lot of money going around that these guys are not getting a part of and I mean yes respect homeboy said Oscar G fucking punk ass Oscar G said I sound like Bernie Sanders bitch I don't care it is what it is dude I'm actually not I'm actually I'm not even gonna go into politics dude but uh, what I'm saying is, I think a lot. Of the, I think the fighters need some respect on their name. That's what I'll say. Slacker says, "What's your favorite style of fighter? Sprawling brawl, specialist, wrestlers, grapplers, X. My favorite style of fighter, Tyron Woodley. That's my favorite style of fighter, man. I don't care. Cerebral fighter, a fighter that fucking has the knockout power, looks for the knockout." But he's not going to play into your game just because you're, you, he, you want him to. So, yeah, that's Cerebral Fighter. So, he's got the knockout power. He's got the fucking... He's, he's got everything, man. He's got pretty much everything to me. A lot of people don't like him. They say he's bitching and moaning and complaining. That's fine with me. I don't like that either. But I'm talking about style of fighting. Okay. Well, actually, like the Tyrant as the person, too. So, maybe that's not just my favorite style of fighting. Okay. Everybody who just heard that, scratch that. That's not my favorite style of fighting. That's just my favorite fighter. My favorite style of fighting. Okay, let me just think for a second. I'm not going to think too long. I don't want people to have to just sit here while I fucking think. Thanks for making me think, Slacker. Everybody thanks Slacker in the comments for this fucking dip away from the questions. Okay, so favorite style of fighter, favorite style of fighter. Let me think real fast. Who's my favorite fights? What's my, one of my favorite fights or something recent? Tick, tick. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. That's my favorite style of fighter. Okay, that's my favorite style of fighter. Whatever, whatever style you would call that. Somebody that's fucking good everywhere. Somebody that'll fucking finish people in their. I like I, my favorite type of fighter is somebody that's good everywhere. Uh, overall fighters, not specialists. Not wrestler fucker, grapple fuckers. Not guys that fucking like to give it to the judges because they think they're going to get the decision. Uh, not just straight fucking meathead brawlers. I like guys that think, use technique, finish guys that are underdogs. So, Demetrius Johnson. There we go. Fucking slacker. Making me take all that fucking time, you fucking slacker. Alright, slacker. Who do you think were the most unlikely UFC champs ever? Michael Bisping for sure I mean respect on Michael Bisping's name but who honestly thought he was ever going to be a champion so for sure Michael Bisping let's think for one more second sorry I'm readjusting alright so for sure Michael Bisping most unlikely UFC champs ever Jermaine Durandamine um, let's see let's see let's see 135 145 155, 170. Uh, I think that's good for now, man. Yeah. So Michael Bisping, Jermaine Durandamine, we'll, we'll go there. Uh, Slade, question: Who's the most dangerous fighter of all time? Anthony Johnson. No. Fuck no. After that last shit, pissed me off. What the fuck are you thinking? Going in there, going for takedowns, dude. That ain't what that wasn't dangerous. TRT Vitor. 
Chris Cyborg or Crow Cop? I'm going with TRT Vitor, bro. That's what I'm going to go with there. Next question. Do you have a timeline on how long you plan on doing this for fucking ever, bro? $20,000? Homie thought he could dip? Bro, 20,000 followers? What the fuck is he thinking? I would never have fucking dipped. Even if you, even if he was, what the hell, dude? Dude, the only time I would ever leave is if some ridiculous shit that isn't even a realistic possibility in my mind happened. Like, hey, man, we'll give you a fucking million dollars to come do something. Like, and that dude, you see how, you see how stupid that sounded? And even then, I'm going to be like, hey, fuck. You want me to fucking get rid of my YouTube channel? No. Fuck no. Hit her on deck. Day one hitters on deck. Still always gonna have my list too. You're on it, bro. And you said it. It's hitters love it. And we don't want you just one day dip on us like quick hits, bro. I promise. You have my word. You never have to worry about that. I've been pretty honest. If you agree, if you if I must say so. So does it sound like I'm lying? I have no plans in doing this. I'm, this shit is surreal to me, bro. Appreciate the comment. Appreciate the love. Day one hitter on deck. Killer Shamo said, "Congratulations for reaching 500 followers. Keep it up." I, hey, I say, man, thank, thank you, thank you, because you're part of that shit, bro. So I didn't do that myself at all. That wasn't me. But thank you again for the comment. Thanks for the love. Bubs of Steel. By the way, it's cool of you to put MMA Quick Hits Patreon link in your about page. Hey, hold on. Uh, uh Oscar G, are you still fucking listening? You fucking bum. Listen to this. Bubs is still said, by the way, it's cool of you to put MMA Quick Hits Patreon link in your about page. Because I did that, Oscar. If you were listening, I fucking had his. You're probably only on his fucking channel because I guided you there, you fucking troll. He said, but he's the dumbass who deleted the, his presence from YouTube to try and strong arm people into paying 20 a month for him to hear him chat shit. Besides being a bitch move, it's a dumb move since YouTube's a good advertising platform to alert people to his Patreon. That's what my thoughts, too. Good thoughts, Bubs. Still, I agree. He said, if I were you, I'd let him do his own advertising. I already took his link out, bro. Once, bro, go if you haven't listened to my warning to Quick Hits 1, I, that's when I look, his, took his link out of my Patreon. He said, besides that, if he tries to make a move, he you can claim that the Patreon link in your about page prove you jacked his material wait besides that if he tries to make a move on you he can claim the Patreon link yeah well that's why I took his shit out a long time ago he can make a move on these nuts and Oscar can make a move on these fucking nuts and new fucking trolls Bubs of Steel thank you for the comment Bubs of Steel said thoughts on race baiters in the UFC thoughts on Khabib's padded record all those guys he fought were bums Bubs of Steel okay you said all the guys, yeah. I, I actually did a Khabib versus the world record. I went over that. Uh, we figured out after I did all the research that out of 24 wins, only two of them were against notable guys, and only one of those was an entertaining fight. So, yes, I agree. Khabib's record is just a teeny bit padded, but I think it's for marketing reasons. And so, if yeah, if, but if you're interested on that, dude, I did a really in depth video. Uh, it's in the versus the world playlist. I've been organizing these things in the playlist, keeping everything organized. So if there's a particular series you're interested in, just go hit the playlist, put it on autoplay. Boom, boom, boom. boom. All right, so Bubs of Steel. Thoughts on race baiters in the UFC? I think if they're serious, they're stupid. I mean, I fucking grew up around that shit. And, like, I ain't, like, there's always, I always, like, yeah, no, dude, I don't buy that shit. I don't think the UFC is racist at all. But I do think it will sell fights. I do think it, if you want to get people to hate you, I think it's a good way to do it. Race baiting has always been a good way to get people to hate you. So if you come out and race bait, get people to hate you. Sell some pay-per-views. So I hope that's why you would be doing it. It's because you want to sell pay-per-views and not because you think it's fucking actually some racist shit. Gary White, once again, I must say you're doing a tremendous job in my Floyd Mayweather voice. I wish I had a Mayweather accent or love accent. Okay, uh, keep up the good work you said, Gary White. Thank you very much. Day one hitter on deck. I must say I really am flattered by the comment, like all of you guys' comments. Trollbuster said, fuck the other side. Let's go. Hey, yeah, fuck that. That's what I'm talking about. OG, fuck you. OGG, what's his name? Oscar G, fuck you, puss. Fuck the other side. That's what Trollbuster said. Let's go. Let's go. Quick hits two and new. 
put a fuck in on deck against any fucking troll. Drowning that gorilla piss, Oscar G. How you feeling right now? Probably fucking heated. You're gonna go tell Quick Kids, hey man, I commented on, this, on all of his videos and told him he sucks. But I bet you won't tell him that I clipped your shit up, you puss. Keep commenting, I'll keep clipping, nigga. Alright, Box Chevy said, just sub, tell yeah, bro, appreciate it. Day one hitter on deck, day one hitter on deck. Dark Ninja said, yes, big bro, day one hitter on deck. Oh, you said, yes, big troll. I hope you're talking about not me, homie. I hope you're not a troll. Fucking, you might be troll hit on deck, we don't know. Idra Bru I'm sorry, Ibra Du said, put some respect on the, I'm sorry, put some respect on the fucking hitter on deck, and dark yellow gorilla piss on troll face, dark yellow gorilla piss, I'm pretty sure that shit's green though, fuck it though, we're motherfucking putting it all over Oscar G's motherfucking mouth, all over his motherfucking face, motherfucking looking like motherfucking antioxidant, anti-acids and shit, motherfucking... The shit that used to be on the TMT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, nigga. We got the ooze, the motherfucking, the gorilla ooze piss on you fucking pussy ass trolls. Oscar G on deck, troll hitter on deck. Thanks for the views, Oscar, you fucking troll. I hope you're still listening to this shit. You probably clicked off by now, so I'm gonna get off your fucking head. You fucking troll. Whipped Cream Gaming said, Do you think Maya should get the next title shot? Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, he should have got it before the Jorge fight. But, if GSP wants it, I think he'll get it. Do I think he should? Fuck yes. Do I think he will? That's to be seen. Alan said, hopefully this channel isn't going anywhere soon. You hear that, Oscar? At this rate, you'll hit 20K in no time. Ha ha. You hear that, Oscar? What are your thoughts on the new weight cutting rules? Bro, that shit is crazy. That's some shit like we're going to have to see before we actually really fully understand. Because they're talking about... So a bunch of new weight classes and the weird part is it's only in California so how can you have different weight classes in California than anywhere else so I really don't know what the fuck's going on with that stuff but the new weight cutting rules that that that's the weight class the new weight cutting rules uh, if you're talking about the fact that they're just gonna test your rehydration after uh, the day of the fight they're not changing anything they're gonna that's all they're changing they're going to test your hydration after uh, you weigh in the day of the fight. But if you're 10% over, they're just going to recommend you go up. They're not going to force you to go up or nothing. They're just going to recommend you go up. YenXX said, oh shit, 500. Day one hitter on deck. Thank everybody again. Crazy Horse Business said, thoughts on Carlos Condit and the rumors that he's retiring. Hey, bro, he retired. Did you what happened? You didn't did you not watch his fight, uh, versus Damian Maya? He grabbed the mic and said, Yeah, this is it for me. Uh yeah, this is it for me. Some shit 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 put his gloves down, bro. He retired. That's not a rumor. Everybody was saying and stuff that they didn't want him to retire. So I think they're trying to convince him to not retire. But he actually, yeah, and he came out and said he retired. Pound for pound, number one MMA channel. That only matters. Great videos, bro. Crazy horse pound for pound pennant. Greatly appreciate it. Oscar doesn't agree, but fuck Oscar. Crazy Horse Bennett. Thoughts on TRTV Tour. TRTV Tour was motherfucking a beast. TRT Tour. Probably. TRT given one of the, Yeah, man, fucking legend for sure. Well, man, I don't know if you want to say one of the best fighters of all time. A lot of people might say that. I'll say arguably one of the greatest fighters of all time with TRT. He's, you said top 10 lightweight contenders against Connor and how they would each fare up against Mystic Mac. Hey, bro, instead of doing that whole shit on a, on a this, I'll just do a Connor McGregor versus the world because that sounds like a good thing for that. So I'm going to put that on the queue. And if it, please try and remind me, I'll try and remember. I'm, I would rather just do a whole Conor McGregor versus the world video on that than, than do all of that right here. You said, do you, uh, do you like or did you like GSP? Um, Right now, I'm not liking him. Right now, actually, I don't like him. Actually, right now, I don't like him at all. Did I ever like GSP? Yes. Back when I was a casual fan, Anderson Silva days, Anderson, I mean, Rampage days, Rampage Jackson days. That's what I liked him, because I was casual, I didn't know too much about the sport, so I mean, I don't know if it was warranted, I'm pretty sure it was, he, he was uh, 
quick he said he used to finish guys back in the day he used to actually be an entertaining fighter so if that was the case I was casual back then I didn't watch every fight but yes I would have liked that and I did like him back in the day right now I don't like him top three worst judge decisions I'm just gonna get into recent ones because uh I'm not gonna like fucking go try and think of literally all time I'm gonna get into the first three that come to, come into my mind Al Arquinta versus Jorge Masvidal. I think Jorge Masvidal won that fight. Um, what's that? Well, I got one right here on the tip of my tongue. Tyron Woodley versus Stephen Thompson won. I do not think that was in any way a draw at all. So I'm going to consider that one of them. Um, what's one of, them? one of them right here off the top? Another one off the top of my head is Benil Darius versus Michael Johnson. I feel like Mike, Michael Johnson got 100% robbed in that fight. Uh, and since I can't think of another one off the top of my head, I'm going to go with those three. Because the longer the videos are, they kind of fucking take longer to upload and longer to put up and all that stuff. So I got work tomorrow, so I'm going to have... Hey, I'm not I'm not cutting it short. I'm still going to read every single comment, but that's why I don't want to like go into like 20 minutes on one question. Okay... Pride Shogun or John Jones before Yushada. I'm gonna say John Jones before Yushada, greatest of all time. And I'm to be fair, Pride Shogun. I was not the biggest MMA fan back then. I just didn't know about it. It wasn't on my radar. I was a casual fan back then, so I didn't know much about Pride Shogun. I'll be honest, because I'm usually always honest. John Jones before Yushada, definitely one of my favorite fighters of all time. Can't be mad at that. So I'm going with him. Pimp your bish said. What do you think of 2v2 or 3v3 MMA fights in the octagon? Uh, man, I think it's very interesting. I don't know how it would work, but I would, I'd tell you what, I would watch it. I think I've seen like a fucking video of some people like 5v5 and that shit. Of course I would watch it. I do not know how it would work. I do not know how the rules would go. Maybe we can do a video on that or something. Like a whole video on like brainstorm the rules, like a fantasy, a fantasy shit. But yeah, I don't know. I would watch it. I think it's interesting. I think it's possible. I think it'd be tight as fuck. I don't know how it would work. Who would win? Crazy Horse Bennett said. Mystic Mac or Edson Barboza? I'm going with Mystic Mac. Go to McGregor. Go to McGregor versus the world. Let's get it. Go to McGregor. Go to McGregor's going to clip his shit. He's going to knock him out. He's going to knock him out. He's going to knock him out quick. Edson Barboza. I do love Edson Barboza. I do think his kicks could be a threat. A very serious threat, but I also thought that Eddie Alvarez's kicks or wrestling could be a threat. And Conor McGregor proved me wrong. I'm not gonna doubt again. Conor McGregor, that's it. Okay, who would win, Nick Diaz or Conor McGregor? Conor McGregor. He, he actually no, I think Nick Diaz would win that fight. I do. He's a natural 170 pounder. Conor McGregor's not. Now, if you were saying Conor McGregor with the full strength and conditioning, 170-pound body, I would go with Conor. But if you're talking about right now, if Conor just going to 170, Nick Diaz cutting to 170, I'm going Nick Diaz. Would you rather see Conor back in the octagon doing what he does best or Mayweather versus Conor, Santiago Gonzalez says. Um, I would rather see Conor back in the octagon. I did a, my Mayweather vs. Conor prediction, and my prediction was I don't think the fight's going to happen. I think it's a big publicity stunt, respect on the marketing. Every, uh, everybody's winning. Every every single MMA, every single media outlet, every single boxing outlet, every single MMA outlet, everyone's winning talking about this fight, whether it happens or not. Everybody's selling advertisements talking about it. So I, I think it's a publicity stunt. Um, I don't know if I should be fucking putting that out there or not. I don't know if fucking, yeah. But I think it's, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. That's my prediction. So I would definitely rather see him back in the octagon. I would love to see him fight Tony Ferguson or Nate Diaz. Okay, Landy94, low, but he said, if this channel gets shut down because he make quick, it's one's acting like a bitch. There's nothing he can fucking do. What the fuck are you going to do? Fucking, I'm, what am I copywriting? Your YouTube name? Are you fucking, is, is that even real? Well, for one, you took your YouTube channel down. And for two, you're copywriting. How about that? Respect on my name. And fucking, I'm not worried about it. It is what it is. You didn't make that shit up. Man on deck, you didn't make that shit up. The fuck is he talking about? I got my own opinion. He's got his own opinion. 
I'm not in here fucking getting 500 sub subscribers because I'm copying him. I'm in here getting it because of my opinion and whatever because people are supporting me. And I'm also getting it because fucking his dumb ass left. He left everybody stranded. So I'm not worried about Quick Hits 1 at all. I'm not at all. Warning shots, whatever. Be people been begging me to ether him. I'm not scared to do it or nothing. I'll do it in a fucking heartbeat. Let him come at me first. Oscar G already motherfucking came at me on every single video today, trolling hard. Got his shit clipped up by me. And, and I don't, I don't, man, I don't even need y'all to clip up these trolls because I'll handle them. It's fun to me. But if you guys want, go clip his shit up. Oscar G in the comments. Fuck that dude. And you said, do you have another channel name in mind ready to go? No, I don't. No, I don't yet. I fucking, I don't at all. Like, I have thought about it, but I, the, my main thought is I'm just gonna roll with this. I mean, it's, it's the, where the demand is right now. Fucking, so I'm gonna fucking supply it. Fuck Oscar one last time. Captain Bingo. On we grow. Hey, shout out, cat, uh, fucking day one hitter on deck. The content is quality and the hard work will pay off without having to ask like a bum or run to Patreon. I'm glad I'm fucking, thank you for, what's that word I'm looking for off the top of my tongue. Thank you for noticing the hard work, bro, because I really have been over here working. I mean, I'm only saying hard work because I'm doing a lot of work. Like, I've literally just been sitting here fucking for hours on hours doing the shit. Even though I love doing it, I do love doing it. I fucking love doing this shit. It's fun. But yeah, I would qualify it as hard work. I've been having to learn a lot of shit, programs, fucking all type of stuff, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, fucking thank you. Uh, looking forward to the hitter calls, bro. Hitter one, hitter call out right now. Number one, shout out to Valley G. Day one hitter on deck. Next, Russ said 500 today, 5,000 next month. Let's keep it rolling, brother. That shit would be fucking lit. 500 surreal. So man, if I hit 502, I'll be happy. I don't got no expectations. All right. Smash and dash. Is it Luke and G if Luke Gegard fight each other, who do you have winning and how? I've got Gegard. Gegard. Musazi. I'm gonna do a Gegard versus the world, but that's one of my favorite fighters. Uh, Gegard. I got Gegard. I got him finishing him just because fucking left hook Larry Michael Bisping just came in there and exposed that chin a little bit to me i'm ex i'm curious to see how any of these top middleweights would do with that chin gay guard's very experienced so he could find the chin probably if he wants it if not i mean gay guard uses his experience he's a very cerebral fighter one of my favorite fighters i got gay guard excuse me all right nice video keep it up said mr bass boost thank you very much sir uh, Tom McClain said five of your favorite videos. Oh, so no, I see. Oh, fucking, there we go. That's that deliriousness. I gotta work tomorrow. Fuck it. Tom McClain said five of your favorite fights of all time. Has Quick Hit One said anything to you? Let's do the first question. First things first. <coughs> I'm just gonna do the most recent fights that come to my head. My favorite ones. Uh, Tyron Woodley versus Robbie Lawler. Uh, let's go to my head. All of Anderson Silva's fucking highlights, but that's not here nor there. I'm not going to count that. Um, Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. One. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, let me think. John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. Oh, I'm going. I, no, I'm not even going to. Yeah, John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. One. Also, uh, just because, man, there was so much on that fight, and John Jones went out there and did his fucking thing. Um,. Alexander Gustafson versus John Jones and Daniel Cormier. I fucking loved both of those fights. Alright, I don't even know the number yet, so I'm just gonna give like two more. Um do 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 Um I mean what should I I don't know if I'm just trying to think of like a fucking just a really good fight. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rory McDonald versus Robbie Lawler, one of my favorite fights of all time, for sure. And we'll do one more. Um, I'll say Cody Garbrandt versus Dominic Cruz because holy shit, I did not expect that. All right, has Quick Hitch One said anything to you? No, and he better fucking not.
we can get a fucking beef going. Come back to YouTube. Like I said before, it'll be because I made you puss. And if you don't, good luck on Patreon. If he does say something to me, we can get it cracking. If he does try to take action, we can get it popping. If he does want this fucking work, we can get to working. Fuck Oscar G. Andrew Rodriguez. Would MVP be able to go on a win streak in the top 10 of the UFC welterweight division? Fuck no. He wouldn't be able to go on a fucking win streak in the fucking 20 through 10. Fuck no. That guy legitimately fights fucking cans. He's fought one experienced fighter so far. I love MVP. Like, the beginning of that probably sounded like I'm an MVP hater. I love MVP. I love the finishes. His last fight, not too much. I love MVP. Like him as a fighter. I love that dancing shit. The entertainment. I just don't think he's beating top contenders. And that was the question. Uh, you said Wonderboy Cerrone, Masvidal, Maya, Carlos Condit, Kevin Gaslam. Could he even beat Roy or Lorenz? No. He's not beating none of those guys. None of them. None of them. Good question. Moving on. Show more. More comments on deck. 10 pound for pound p fighters. Aaron McKeo said. That's funny because uh, Aaron, like, Cooney Cooney told me to say. Uh, uh, I think that it might be later on here. I don't know. I'm going to say it, though. You bitch. All right. Aaron McKeo. Your top. 10 pound for pound fighters all right i'm gonna do this quick i uh, if you if you haven't you don't have to if you don't watch on my um ufc rankings report at the very end you can skip to the end or whatever i did the pound for pounds that's on the ufc website and i did like the top 15 but i'll just give you a quick rundown uh at the very top right now i'm gonna man it was demetrius johnson but with this fucking ducking tj shit buddy might have to get popped down so, I'm going to say number one right now. I'm going to have to say Conor McGregor. going to have to say it. Pains me a little bit to say it, but hey, man. That's what i got to say right now. Number one, Conor McGregor. Number two, John Jones. Number three, Demetrius Johnson. Number, number ooh, no, 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 damn. No, yeah, okay, number four, Tyron Woodley. Number five. Number five, hmm. Cody Garbrandt, the what he just did to a dominant cruise, you got to put him up there. Number six, Jose Aldo. Number seven, a lot of people might not agree with this, but I don't care. Tony Ferguson, he's on like a nine fucking fight winning streak. I like his submissions. I like his style. A lot of his fights, he gets clipped up. I'm taking that back. So number seven. I got three more on my top 10 pound for pound. Are we talking about it right now or all time? It sounds like we're talking about it right now, so we're going to do that. Daniel Cormier, number seven. Number eight, we'll go Stipe. Oh, no, no, no. Number eight, we'll go Joanna. Number nine will go Stipe. Number ten, rounding out the top ten pound for pound. I don't have a list in front of me, so I'm going off the top of my head. Mm. I want to troll and say Jorge Masvidal, but I would just be doing that because I like him. Okay, number ten, heavyweight, light heavyweight. Okay, number ten, Alexander Gusterson. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I lied. I'm going to run down that one more time because I forgot about Gay Guard. Number one, Conor McGregor. Number two, John Jones. Number three, Gay Guard Musashi. Number four, Demetrius Johnson. Number five, Tyron Woodley. And then everyone I said bump him down one notch. Number six, I think I said Jose Aldo. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, put Gegard up there at fucking number three. Do I think Nick Diaz will fight again in the UFC London, Taylor said. I think yes. I mean, 
They just spent all this fucking money on the UFC. Why would you not at least try and get something out of him? I don't know what the fuck he's waiting for at all. I don't know when, but I'm going to say yes. C-Level Kane, my comment was for the people that got me mixed up with the other C-Level, not for you, quick hits. Okay, I don't think I've seen that one yet. Uh, Scott said, I love seeing other people from Quick Hits 1 on here. Hope the channel blows up. Make some cry over there on Patreon. How about that, Oscar? Barry Walter said, Does Holly get cold to lots to Betch Kohea? I believe so, yes. Wicked Kid, or I'm sorry, Wicked Blades, Wicked or Wicked? Wicked Blades said, do the hitter calls, fantasy fights, your prediction, your radar, Bellator shit, good and Vicky card, give C level Kane shit, C level Kane, you're a hoe, I'm just playing. Uh keep it going, man. Driver seat now. Hey bro, I have been doing all of those videos. Yep, get a great summer ahead. Yes, that prep conference was epic. I have been doing that and what I've actually been doing is I've been doing them in playlists. I've been keeping since we started since I've doing it from the beginning, I'm keeping everything organized in playlists. So that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, you said the sea level cane. The sea level cane. He shouted out. I don't know the different. Oh, sea level cane and sea. Holy shit! I just seen what was going on. Do you're fucking trolling hard. I'm the sea level cane that put respect on this channel when he just made it. You motherfuckers better chill with that shit. Sea level cane. Whichever. <laughs> this is the twilight shit, dude. What the fuck is going on? See level Kane, whichever one of you motherfuckers, you man on deck. If both of you got man on deck, whenever I say see level Kane, motherfucker, I'm talking to both of you, whoever you are. <laughs> that shit's so crazy. Barry Walter said, how can Demetrius Johnson be considered number one P4P when he hasn't fought good competition, not a single former champ at flyweight? Hmm. I'll tell you why I believe. I'll tell you why I had him up there. Dude, he hasn't fought a former champ at flyweight because he was the first champ at flyweight, I believe. So, there were no former champs. If John Jones started the light heavyweight division, you would say that about him, right? So, I mean, I see what you're saying. It's a good point. But Demetrius Johnson fights everybody. Fucking, these guys are not bums. Uh, I don't think any of these guys suck, dude. So, I mean, you, I might have, probably have more respect on 125 pounds than you. I don't care that they're not former champions. That's because they can't beat DJ, and DJ's a fucking unicorn or whatever the fuck, maybe. So, uh, <clears throat> so I understand what you're saying, but uh, I'll say also because, like, his last fight, he fought the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and he's like a blue belt, and he went in there and he submitted the guy. So he finishes guys at their own games, and he's got a really good record. So, yeah, that's how. But, yeah, good point. Who wins, CJ or Cody? I got TJ, Joey Davis. Barry Walters, who's the best all-around fighter? All-around? Good question, good question. I'll say Demetrius Johnson. No, I won't. No, I won't. He's got a fucking blue belt in jiu-jitsu. I just said that, so I'll take that back. We'll go either John Jones or Gegard Mousasi. That's what I'll say. Probably John Jones. Maybe Gegard. Maybe fucking Rory McDonald. I don't fucking know. Let's see what he does. Barry Walter said, Thoughts on Nate Diaz refusing to fight Ferguson? I think Nate Diaz just wants the Connor fight. If if Nate Diaz didn't already hit the lottery he, might, lottery, he might fight him. But fighting Ferguson is a chance in losing your lottery ticket. You're better off spending some of that fucking money and waiting on your lottery ticket if you're Nate. For us, it sucks. For Nate, it doesn't. Barry Walters, what do you think of Ronda Rousey? Is was she that good, or are women that bad at that time? Well, the way you said that, I definitely can't say women that bad. Hello. Uh, what do I think of Ronda Rousey? I think Ronda Rousey was fucking great for the sport. Fucking good shit. Brought a lot of eyes to the sport. Appreciate it. A lot of fighters should appreciate that. I think she was a fucking champion. Do I think she was a little overrated? Yes, but that doesn't matter. Respect on Ronda Rousey's name. I liked her. She got fucked up in her last two fights. I do think she was overrated. I mean, look, she lost to Holly Holm, and fucking Holly Holm's been getting her chick beaten every way. So I do think she was a little overrated. That's what I'll say. And I don't think women were just that bad. I think Ronda just didn't go against the right chick. I guess. I mean, yeah. I don't think I don't. I like Rhonda. 
I just, I just think she was just a little bit overrated. Should MVP join the UFC, saying or said? No, I think he's in the right spot. Barry Walters, who's the best fighter I've seen? Uh, I just did the number one P for P. Who did I put at the top? Conor McGregor? I don't like saying that, so I'll say John Jones. But given the steroid shit, you got to go Conor McGregor. Okay, so yeah. Just because John Jones has been out, that's probably why he's not number one on my shit. But John Jones comes back and looks good off the juice. He gets back his number one pound for pound spot. Uh, what happens when a champ misses weight? I think the champion gets stripped, right? If a champion misses weight, they get stripped. That's why that towel gate shit was really weird to me. Everybody ignored it. Everybody. Makes sense for the UFC. They need the shit to happen. I don't understand how the commission came together with the UFC, with Daniel Cormier, with Rumble Johnson. I don't understand how he everybody was fine with it on the lead up to the fight. So I'm not going to fucking sit here and cry about it. But I don't understand why nobody made a stink about that. Because technically, Daniel Cormier misses weight. That's the second time he had to pull out of the fight with Rumble. Rumble gets the title. There's no John Jones rematch. So, I mean, yeah. I don't understand how he missed weight and nothing came of it but oh well but yeah i'm pretty sure if a champ misses weight they lose their shit fantasy fight mma quick hits two versus mma quick hits one who wins and how me by first round ko and new behind starbucks dana make it happen barry walters max holloway chances of defeating aldo um max holloway's chances of defeating aldo slim but i'm picking him to win still like, I, if I was a gambler, I'd be a degenerate gambler because, like, sometimes I pick with my heart. I, if, I, if I was betting money, bro, I'd probably bet it on Aldo, honestly, if I was using my head. But I, I root for uh, Max Holloway. TJ Dillashaw versus Demetrius Johnson. You also said Barry Walters. Who wins? Dude, that's a really good one. I'm going to go ahead and pick TJ Dillashaw. I really like TJ Dillashaw. I think given the shot, he could prove himself to be one of the greatest of all times. But they are fucking denying my boy. I talked about that on the hitter call. Muhammad Elm. Congrats, bro. Uh, what do you think is next for Connor in the UFC? Th By the way, thank you for the congrats. What do you think is next for Connor in the UFC after the Mayweather fight? Do you see him defending against Tony? Going for the third belt. After the Mayweather fight, which I don't think is going to happen, I see him definitely not going for the third belt. I think Tyron would fuck his shit up. I see him either um, finding a way to finagle his way into the fight with Nate Diaz or fighting Tony Ferguson. I think he would rather fight Nate Diaz, but I don't know how they're going to avoid Tony. Uh, Aaron Cooney, can you say Aaron McKeo is a bitch, please? Aaron McKeo is a bitch, please. Given sure name, um, Khabib, since we went through the numbers and we saw that Khabib is overrated, Shout out to the Versus the World Khabib series. You said, who do you think you need to see him fight next to prove he can actually compete? And that he's an actual contender, or should he go to 170 and maybe get wrecked? If he goes to 170, it, that zero would fucking rack up real quick. He would rack up some L's real quick. But at 155, I've said I, I would like to see him tested against a real, real high jujitsu level, a really skilled jujitsu guy, because he's a wrestler. And that's that's his specialty. I want to see his jujitsu tested. And um, other than that, any anyway, just somebody with really good defensive wrestling, someone with good defensive wrestling, and uh, yeah, so somebody like what? Somebody like what? Not like Michael Johnson. So I'm just gonna say somebody with uh, really good jujitsu. Somebody like Tony Ferguson. Somebody like Tony Ferguson or somebody with really good jujitsu. I think Tony Ferguson uh, is better than Khabib. You said Tony Ferguson. What's it going to take for him to get a title shot? It's going to take this Connor, Sh Connor Nate shenanigans to be over. And then even then, who knows, bro. But right now, that's where the uh, the stars are. So it's kind of fucking sucks for him. I think he should just clip people up and get those paychecks for now. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks for him. But what's it going to take? Or maybe if he comes out and starts talking big shit, doing crazy shit. If he starts doing that circus shit, maybe he can get fast forwarded. Fucking show up like Shannon Briggs at fucking Connor's fucking baby shower. Fucking pop a balloon and say, let's go champ. Some shit like that. That might skip him up. Reckless Rico, aka Rico Reckless. Brah, brah.
fuck you know about Rico Reckless, boy. He said, can Kevin Lee become 155 pounds UFC champ? Fuck yeah, let's go, Kevin Lee on deck, man on deck. I like Kevin Lee a lot. I would love to see that. That would be so crazy. Who wins, Conor or Tony? I got Tony. MMA from the Heartland, quick hits. He said, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, too. Appreciate you all you motherfuckers if you're still listening. Uh, what do you think is next for Jeremy Stevens? Do you think him versus Yair would ever happen? Do I think? How do I think that fight would go? What do I think is next for Jeremy Stevens? Interesting. I'm not actually going to pull up his fight I, uh, right now. I'm pretty sure he lost his last fight. I see and think next for Jeremy Stevens. I don't ever, I don't see him getting in the title picture. I don't see him becoming a champion. Do I think him versus Yair could happen? Yes, that actually makes sense now because um, because he just got because Yair just got beat. Jeremy Stevens just got beat. I believe they're both about the same. I don't think Jeremy Stevens is as good as Frankie. So just a notch down in competition, but still, uh, still notable. I think that would be a great fight. For right now, it'd be a great matchup right now. How do I think that fight would go, dude? I think that would probably yeah, it'd be a really good fight. How do I think that fight would go? That'd be a fucking good fight, Jeremy Stevens. Damn, bro, that's a good fight. I don't know exactly how that fight would go, uh, but I'm I would go with Yair yeah, Rodriguez because I'm a fan of the guy. I'm, I like I like the fucking I like his flavor, his flair. I like that shit. I like the young prospect. Congratulations, 500. Always on deck, says Reckless Rico. Reckless Rico. Thank you, sir. Day one hitter on deck. And guess what, boys? That's the fucking last comment, last question. Thank you very much for motherfucking tuning in, boys. And trolls. Oscar G, if you're still fucking here, subscribe, you fucking bum. Why the fuck are you still here, dude? You fucking bum. Fucking troll hitter on deck. Comment on my next videos. I'm going to keep pumping out the content so you can keep hating. You fucking troll. And uh, hitters. Day one hitters. Be looking for that day one hitter shout out video coming up. Get, uh, just to remind everyone again on there. I'm going to fucking tell people what a day one hitter means. And I'm going to give you guys all a fucking special shout out. I'll let you know you're on the list. I don't know what to say man. Fuck Oscar G. Let me know what you think in the comments.